All right, let's try that again. Uh, this time around, same thing. We're gonna beat a monstery path all the way to this uh, campfire. That should be pretty fun. Let's do it. We could also go like straight up the question marks. That could be fun too. I like these question marks. I want to see more of these. Just fighting monsters is pretty good for the this guy, but uh, we can do more. Okay, so defend, defend. I can either take three and kill the acid slime, or take five, or take, let's see here, one, and kill nothing. It's an interesting question. Which would I rather do? I think I just want this acid slime out of here. Oh, no, wait, I'm dumb. <laughs> so we'll take the one, and then we'll do... Yeah. We get some wounds from the spike slime, which is a thing that happens. Strike there. Strike there. Strike there. Debuffs get applied. And that decreases our ability to generate armor, but it looks like he's continuing the, the to apply debuffs, so we can really make that work for us. Any turn where they apply debuffs is a really good turn for us, because we're just trying to kill them before the debuffs make any sense. Yeah! Alright, cool. Alright, card-wise, we got Seeing Red, we have Shrug It Off. That's the card I'm looking for for a defense. I think we'll go ahead and use that. Okay. So, our first encounter. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helm approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend. I am Cleric. Are you interested in my services? Okay, so he can heal 20 or he can remove a card from my deck for an extremely cheap price. That's actually very good. That's, uh, like, a little bit less than what you would from another type of enemy. So, yeah. I'd love that. And since we actually have the block now, we can ditch the defend. Alright. Cleric talented. Have a good day. Cool. We'll continue the question marks. What do we got next? An elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit, and I can free upgrade a card. I'm down with it. Shrug it off gets me the extra block and draws a card. That's going to be a thing I'm going to want to do very often, so... Sure, let's go ahead and confirm that. There are other cards that I would also like to upgrade, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. Ah, it's our first merchant. We only got 60 coins because we spent it all on that one guy. So I can't do a lot here, but we'll see what we can work with. Iron Wave is a reasonable attack. Oh, Inflame's pretty good. That's just two extra damage to all of my attacks forever. Disarm's really iffy. It's not bad. Actually does, like, create a fairly decent benefit against bosses and single targets. I can't even cast that. Yeah, so it's either Dual Wield, Inflame, or Iron Wave. Dual Wield is interesting because we can actually repeatedly create copies of cards that are very good in our hand. That'd actually be good in a Perfected Strike type deck. Inflame is very cheap right now and also a pretty good card, so we'll probably go with that. And then we get a second Merchant. That's rough. Alright, what have you got? you have anything that you can sell me that's worth it? I could buy, like, a potion. Yeah, even the Clash is cheap, and it's not good enough. Alright, so that was rough. Bad luck. Alright. So, we can either smith and upgrade, or we can rest, and I think it's definitely going to be smith here. Uh... Increasing the strength of Inflame seems really good, although if I could make Bash cheaper, I'd definitely go for that. Nah, we'll definitely increase the strength of Inflame, because extra strength is very, very good for a warrior, I think. Alright. So these guys are curling up. It's good to know. We got Strikes a plenty, and they're both planning on dealing 5 damage to me. I can deal 18, which won't kill either of them, but we'll get pretty close to Laos. So we'll defend here, and we'll strike, and strike. That gets them both to curl up. I take 5 damage. 
And now both of them will be a lot, le lot more vulnerable next turn, which is what I really want. There's my Shrug It Off. That gets me enough block to just withstand the entire turn. And Flame gets me extra strength, which will allow me to deal 9 damage. Versus Bash, which would apply vulnerability. Yeah, I think we definitely like Strike here. Okay. So I need some better attack cards, because we're not doing enough damage right now. But we're doing okay. Shrug It Off. Strike... And strike. We get a negative effect, but that should be fine. And then we'll heal six, so we are essentially perfecting this one. That's what we want to do. Yeah, disarm seems like it's not a bad card at all against bosses. Okay, so seeing red allows me to attack multiple times. Armaments is a card that I'm actually quite fond of for its ability to upgrade your cards. It's a little bit awkward, but the 5 block makes it very useful. Um, True Grit is better block at the sort of cost of a card. This one actually seems like it's got some strength to it because it will eventually like make the rest of your deck stronger. But you have to be pretty careful with it. I'm kind of interested in this idea, like just making the deck smaller. But I'm also a little bit worried about it. Honestly, this seems like all upside, so maybe we should try True Grit. I think this might get uh, undersold as a really powerful card. Seeing red exhausts itself. Yeah, let's go for True Grit. Okay, so I can campfire and upgrade, or I can fight an elite. Elite would get me a sweet treasure, and then another sweet treasure. I think I'm into that. Let's fight the elite. Oh... Gremlin Knob. I'm not sure I know what you are. Well, you're going to apply a buff this turn, and I'm going to apply two. So let's gain some strength and apply some vulnerability. That should really get us started on you. What's your buff? Okay, you're enraged, so whenever you play a skill, you gain two strength. That seems pretty good. Okay, you can deal 14. I'm going to say strike, shrug it off, and then we use True Grit to gain enough block to really get going. We exhaust a strike, which is not what I want, but that's okay. Cool. No damage there. And I'm still riding high on strength. Shrug it off again. Oh, whenever I play a skill, he gains strength. Oh. Okay. I assume that was whenever he played a skill he gave Okay. That was silly. Whoopsie daisies. Okay. Well, he deals 20 now, and I should just be attacking him. Dang. Man, just attacking him would have been my absolute, like, ugh. I gave him so much strength. Let's just whack him. True Grit gives me some reasonable stuff. He's vulnerable right now, so I could bash and strike. Just take 12. And the next turn, we should be able to kill him. Yeah, we're gonna take a hit here, but I could have handled this better. But honestly, we're not losing that much health to kill this guy. Strike, strike, strike is 999. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, meat on the bone. Oh, wow, even more healing. I wonder if it applies before burning blood or after. Okay. So. Uppercut's fairly strong, but tricky. Fire breathing is for each attack you deal one damage to all enemies. That's an okay power. It's not as good as strength, I would say, but it's got some potential. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of any of these cards. Uppercut's kind of the strong one, but it's also... It costs two. That's a little bit too expensive. Sword Boomerang is... Like, yeah, no. I think we just skip this one. We want to keep our deck fairly small so that it's got good cards in it. Gambling Chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and draw that many. That's a really good way to get your powers activated early. Okay, and I can fight another elite immediately. And with this meat on the bone, I'm actually really happy to fight as many elites as I want to. Let's do it. Okay, Metallicize. So right away, I can basically just... 
do that. I'm wondering how long this enemy will stay asleep for. Like, if I were to, say... We'll probably bash and then True Grit. Oh, he didn't wake up. We knocked his armor off, but he's not awake yet. Okay, he's sort of waking up now, so I get to inflame. That's the thing I really wanted to do this turn. And then we get strikes for 9 or shrug it off for 11. Strike seems like the best way to go about this. We'll wake him up. Sup, guy? So he's stunned this turn. We have a huge strength bonus, which is something we really wanted. He's going to attack for 18. I think we'll start with a bash. And then True Grit will exhaust something, but generally should help us out. Okay, defends. True Grit again. He still hits for 18. I don't like that very much. I could strike, strike, and True Grit. Or I could bash again and strike and just take the 18. I don't like how much damage he's dealing right now. But I don't have a way to stop him from doing that much damage yet. So we're going to dip below half health. <laughs> and now I get my block cards. Alright, so start with a shrug it off to draw a card. Strike plus strike. 9, 18, 27. So if I can just get three attacks off. Oh, my strength went down, so now it's less. Eight apiece and... Not as good. True Grit would get 610 block. I think we'll strike, strike, True Grit. I exhausted my bash, but I've got him next turn. If I just struck and then used two blocks, I would have taken a little less damage. Alright. Yeah, bursting early is quite good. Okay, so a lantern. Oh, a single energy on the first turn of each combat. That's not a bad way to get things started. Okay, whenever you attack this turn, deal 4 damage to the... That's a pretty good way to gain some blocks, sure. Limit break doubles my strength. I'm very into that, I think. It's a hard card to play, but we can definitely play it. And Clash cares about every card in my hand being an attack. Which is... Honestly, this card's very strong. Okay, let's let's go either Limit Break or Clash. I think Limit Break is the rarer card. Oh, these these cards actually have rarities, don't they? I, maybe that's yellow means skill. No, yellow here is different from blue here. I'm not actually sure what the colors mean, but I'm guessing they do mean rarity. We, we'll see. Uh, we're going to go for the Limit Break because that seems interesting. All right, what's the question mark? Ah, good, we get to remove more cards from our deck. Okay, so I've got Shrug It Off and I've got True Grit. Uh, True Crit has proven not as good as I'd hoped it would be. I really don't like Bash all that much, but I definitely want to keep it. So we're going to cut the Defend again. And now I can go for another question mark and another question mark, or I can fight monsters all day. Let's do one more question mark. Oh, it's just a random fight. Cool. So, this guy's going to attack for 11 immediately, which means I want Shrug it off, but I don't want my defense. Alright, so we bash, and then we Shrug it off. Alright, Inflame plus Limit Break. Means my strikes deal 12 apiece. <laughs> oh, make that 18. Because <laughs> of the weakened effect. <laughs> oh, I had 4 power first turn. Did I miss it? I probably did. Alright, well. That's fine. We definitely have enough damage to kill that Jawworm, so. It all works out. Okay, so... <laughs> 
that's probably worth it now. <laughs> Okay, we'll try another question mark. Another battle, cool. Looking pretty easy so far. Limit Break doubles my strength. Heavy Blade cares about things. So we discard Limit Break because we don't need it right now. You're going to attack for 13. So I might want this second defend. But I don't want this Heavy Blade because I'm going to shrug it off. Okay, let's try that. Oh, there's the Inflame. So shrug it off, inflame, and then I can either deal 9 or I can gain 5 block and not take any damage this turn. I think I'm okay with taking 2 here because, oh right, and I get 1 extra so I can actually not take the damage if I want to or I can continue to attack with my extra strength. Taking him down to 29 seems pretty good. Because eventually he's going to play, like, a debuff that prevents me from attacking, and that'll be just kind of a big, like, huge turn for him. If we can stop him from doing that, that'll be awesome. Okay, so 23 damage. That's good enough, I think. Good stuff. Clash is interesting, but enemies that add curses to your deck make it hard. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, flex is better now than it was before. Pommel Strike's always been a good card. And Disarm's still not a thing that I want that much of, but it's not a bad skill. I think I like Flex. We'll probably roll with a flex. Okay, so either of these enemies is the same as the other. Looks like we have thieves and louses. We're going to discard heavy blade and probably multiple strikes here. Although heavy blade does just kill the louse, which is kind of nice. Now, I think we're good. Start with an inflame. Follow it up with a... Strike, defend, defend. Or we could strike, strike, defend. Should get me five damage. That's a bit to take, but now I just have to deal with the one looter. Mm, okay. So I've already gained three strikes, so I can limit break and apply more. Ooh, flex. Limit break. Shrug it off. Strike for 16. Flex wears off, but I get to keep the plus two. So that was pretty good. Alright, and now I just have 14 damage strikes, which feels like a pretty good deal. <laughs> We got ourselves a block potion. I've got fire potions and poison potions as well, so things to note. There's Perfected Strike, which is a card that cares about a lot of different strike cards. Anger is an interesting way to deal attacks with strength. Like, we can actually get some cool stuff out of Anger if I can figure out ways to draw more cards. I think I like Perfected Strike the most. That card is still just really cool. All right, we're going to Smith and upgrade... Gosh, I don't know, actually. So we upgraded a strength bonus. We could... What does this do? Oh. Uh. Do I like that more? <laughs> that seems pretty good. Alright, I'm coming up on a boss. Let's do it. Like, it's kind of not good because I, now I, like, I, I have the bonus strength, but I don't draw as many units, but I've got Heavy Blade in my deck. Yeah, this is totally worth it. 
Okay, so we'll have Shrug it off, we'll have Heavy Blade. This guy's... Okay, we don't need Shrug it off or block cards. Heavy Blade would be pretty cool, but honestly, I think I want to, like, see if I can get a really good flex combo off immediately. That's not terrible. Strike deals 10. Do I want to exhaust a strike? I think I do. Because that gives me more good cards in my deck. Uh, that's, that's some damage, sure. Start with an Inflame. Perfected Strike deals 21. We have a Block Potion to get 12 Block. Should apply the Poison Potion now. Do we just take the full 32 to the face? My Strikes actually deal more than my Perfected Strike right now. Uh, that's that's the rough part of Perfected Strike, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna drink that Block Potion, because yeah. Did I need to change him to a defensive mode to not take that damage, I wonder? 29 damage. That's not bad. I could also apply Vulnerability and 13, but I think 29 straight is just good. Okay, so now he's back in buff mode. Whenever I play an attack, I'll gain 3 damage. Okay, noted. So we'll start with a Limit Break. That puts us up to 10. Shrug It Off gets us 11. You're going to attack for 9. Do I want to deal 16 and take 3? Yeah, probably. We'll take 1 point of damage here. I got a Fire Potion that deals 20. Bash applies vulnerability. True Grit gains block. So flex first. Then we bash. Then we True Grit. That gives us enough block to eh, not take quite so much. Okay. 5x4 is 20. I can gain 16 this turn, which seems like not a bad idea, but I've also got a Heavy Blade that deals 44. Alright, let's just double up, and we'll kill him with Heavy Blade later. Honestly, I think I might be going for a more defensive deck now. So we take quite a bit of damage there. But now I have, like, a ridiculous Heavy Blade. 74. Plus a uh, Strike for 26. <laughs> Alright, end my turn. <laughs> Limit Break doubles my Strength again. That puts me up to 40. Oh, I should have flexed first. That's okay. 46 seems like a lot. <laughs> ah, gain two strength? I absolutely will take that. <laughs> Another limit break. Uh, Alright. Maybe. Okay, can no longer use potions. That's an interesting one. I actually think it's not a bad one, but it's probably not going to be great. What else we got? Cursed Key. Whenever you open a chest... Ooh, wow. No. No. Okay, so... Of the three, the Sozu is the best one. I'll be very sad not to be able to use the Strength Potion, but... Uh, the extra... The extra energy should help quite a bit. 
All right, level two the city. <laughs> what have we got? What have we got? I don't mostly want to fight monsters. I kind of want to encounter some things now, so maybe we'll go down the question mark path. There's a case for going for the merchant early. Namely that there isn't another merchant for quite some time, so going for the merchant early might actually be correct. Sure, we'll go one question mark and then one merchant. Hello, I can't use these. Uh, this seems pretty good to start. I'm gonna attack for 10 apiece. I'm going to shrug it off to gain 11. Guess we'll just see what else we can find. All right, shrug it off in flame. Doesn't matter which order I play the limit breaks. My strikes now deal 18 damage a piece, which feels like a decent amount. All right, perfected strike was a bad idea, and I should try to take it out of my deck if I can. I think at this point I want to get rid of most of my, like, actual offensive cards. So we'll start with Heavy Blade to the Face. <laughs> and we'll go with a True Grit. <laughs> and I can follow that up with a Defend to not take any damage. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Down you get, alright. Twenty damage, apply vulnerable, strike. That, that'll do it. Pew. All right. Seeing red gives me a little bit more gas, which I'm definitely into at this point. It's also just never a bad card, I think. Pommel strike is pretty good too. I like any draw cards that we can get. Okay, let's take that merchant. Oh wait, I was gonna take the question mark. Whoopsies. All right. What do we got? Seventy-five. Okay, so Apotheosis upgrades everything. That's not bad at all. Heavy Blade is cheap right now, and I'm certainly happy to have another copy of it. Corruption is weird? Okay, so if we took Apotheosis and Heavy Blade, how would we feel about that? I could also... Apotheosis seems too good not to take. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, can't sell these. Very sad. Here we go. We'll try a question mark this time around. Spin the wheel? Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, I get to remove a card. I hope. Okay, so we want to get rid of basically things that aren't strike, or things that are strike mostly. I didn't even want to get rid of perfected strike. That card is just not going to do much good for me now. Yeah, any two-cost card that isn't Heavy Blade is a terrible idea at this point. So I'm sad that I took that in the first place. Here we go. We're going to discard everything that isn't Shrug It Off or my combo. Found in Flame and Limit Break, two cards that I really desperately want. Alright, so let's start with a Shrug It Off. Apotheosis. These are already upgraded, but nice to see. Limit break here. Can follow it up with True Grit to exhaust this strike, or I can just hit him. I think we want to exhaust our strikes whenever possible. 
Because we want to have basically a lot of defense while we build up strength to just kill our opponent in one blow. Okay. So, limit break here. That's 12. Seeing red gains me 2. And 74 and 74? Seems good. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty down with uh, seeing red again. Okay. Uh, another merchant. I've only got 53 gold. That's pretty sad. Got anything cool? Oh, you have a cheap heavy blade. Sure. I'm down. And Campfire allows me to get rid of a card out of my deck. Or upgrade a card in my deck. That also works. Uh, okay, so we can upgrade both of our limit breaks. Wait, don't I have two limit breaks? Oh, right. Okay, we could upgrade our flex. We could upgrade our limit breaks. We could upgrade our... I don't really want that bash anymore, but noted. Oh! Yeah, I think upgrading Heavy Blade makes the most sense. Seems like a lot of damage. Here we go. Yeah, Sword Boomerang has some fun to it, that's true. Okay, so... We're gonna keep Inflame. We're probably not gonna keep True Grit early. Especially since they're not gonna attack this turn, they're gonna do their Ritual. Seeing Red seems worth playing. Okay. Inflame. Flex. Then I can both bash and heavy blade, but I didn't get to seeing red effectively. But bash plus heavy blade should just kill one. Uh, let's go for one with a lot of health. Let me check that real quick. 13 damage plus 29. So that's another 29 plus 14 is 34. 33. That's it's plus 15, then it's 34. So that'd be 34 to 33 plus 13. That's going to be exactly 47. I'm not quite going to get it, but we're going to get pretty close. Must have miscounted somewhere there. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I definitely miscounted. 29 plus 14 is not 30. It's 44. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got our Apotheosis. That's a pretty good card, I hear. Go ahead and Limit Break, because that's pretty good. Shrug it off gets us 11. Heavy Blade would kill a unit that's... <laughs> good enough, I guess. All right, Heavy Blade Warriors are ridiculous. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Strike deals 15, so let's just kill that. Seeing Red gets us the extra power we need, double my strength, and then Heavy Blade deals 74. Cool. Oh, your powers were matched. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, what have we got? At the end of your turn, gain three block. That's a pretty good power, honestly. Um... True Grid exhausts cards, which I don't like. Armaments is okay. I don't want this deck to get much bigger than it already is. I'm not sure how I feel about Metallicize. I think I honestly don't want to do that. Yeah, let's just skip. We're going to keep the deck pretty small, because it's already got most of its combo going. Uh, this will allow us to upgrade another Heavy Blade, so I'm down with it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I think just keep upgrading Heavy Blades. <laughs> Is the plan. <laughs> Treasure chest here. I can now gain strength at campfires? Is that permanent strength? Alright. Uh, maybe. Okay, so we got our Heavy Blades, but we don't care about those just yet. We're going to discard, I think, everything in the sand. Apotheosis to start. Apply Vol- Oh, man, this is ugly. Is 
This was upgraded? Oh, it used to cost one. Fair enough. Bash, strike, heavy blade. Gonna take a lot of damage here because I don't have a defense. Should have maybe kept hold of one of my defender cards. There's that shrug it off I needed. Okay, so flex gives me the four strength. Limit break doubles my strength. Shrug it off draws me a card. Seeing red will allow me to play both cards, but we're basically just fine here, so we'll strike. Strike. Cool. Anger is pretty good. Heavy Blade is really good. Do I want another Heavy Blade at this point? I've got three. I feel like that's enough. Warcry is not bad. Oh, and this is an upgraded Warcry, so it costs zero. Okay, I'm into it. That's absolutely worth it. Okay. There's Limit Break, Inflame, Apotheosis, Limit Break. And he's gonna apply it. Oh gosh, yeah. I'll discard this. Cool. So Inflame, Limit Break, Limit Break, 21. Sneko. <laughs> What's the negative effect, Sneko? Uh oh, Confusions. Whenever I draw a card, randomize its cost. Okay, noted. Seeing red is completely uncastable. Seeing red is very, very cheap. Flex plus heavy blade should kill him? Oh, exact lethal. Wow. Okay, I think we're into this. I think we're going to win. Uh, sword boomerang is pretty tempting. Might be good. Yeah, okay. We can keep that. We'll try to take some cards out of our deck soon. Uh, question mark or fight? Question marks have a better chance of getting us cards out of our deck. And I don't need cards right now from enemies, so... It's probably the best way to go about it. Okay, so this was basically just like a really big fight. Um, shrug it off is really important. And will get me all the block I need for the rest of the game. Warcry should stay in as well. So we just ditch True Grit and Defend. Still considering ditching Seeing... Yeah, I'll ditch Seeing Red as well, actually. I have a ton of power on my first turn. So we start with Apotheosis. Shrug it off. Warcry. Put the Bash on bottom, because I'm going to be Heavy Blading twice. Confirmed. Flex. Then Heavy Blade deals 34 apiece, which would be... I mean, do I just kill the Spheric Guardian? Because that one's not actually going to kill me? That seems to make the most sense. I've got 11 armor, so ouch, bonk. Okay, there's Inflame plus Limit Break. Then Heavy Blade should deal 44. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're pretty well in it now. We just keep the deck very, very light, and we'll be able to win pretty easily. Okay, so upgrading Warcries is really good, but Warcry itself is not that great. I think I'll go ahead and go for it. Should add some extra consistency, and we can upgrade it here. Or I could Lift. Start all battles with plus one strength. Yeah, let's Lift. Okay. We'll find some other way to upgrade that card. Question marks? Question marks. So I can heal 26 HP or I can choose one of 20 cards to add to my deck. Okay, I guess I'll pick one of 20 cards. That seems okay. Fiendfire's not bad. Dual wield's not bad. None of these cards are upgraded, so we gotta be careful here. Sword Boomerang's not bad. Flame Barrier's not bad. Shrug It Off is the best card. Feel No Pain's also pretty okay. Battle Trance is also really okay? Wow, that card seems sick. Uh, 
is there any reason why that wouldn't be good? I've got two war cries in my deck, but like I don't think that I have enough draw to make that not be awesome. Okay, I'm down. Okay, so now we upgrade. I guess we lift, actually. <laughs> Just get those gears going. Here we go. Yeah, you stopped drawing, but that doesn't seem like a bad deal. Okay. So we're gonna replace Heavy Blade Strike. Probably not Warcry, because Apotheosis makes it free. And Limit Break should stay in, because we might actually get something out of it. Apotheosis. Warcry. Sword Boomerang seems nuts. Uh, we're gonna Limit Break twice, so we'll have enough to cast all of these. What's gonna be better, the Vulnerability or the Sword Boomerang? I think it's gonna be the Sword Boomerang. And the Vulnerability might actually be much better. And then we draw the Sword Boomerang next turn, so that seems like, seems fine. Double, double, toil, and vulnerable. Oh, he negated it. Fair enough. Wait, flex war off? Oh, right, yeah, never mind. That's supposed to. So I've already got plus 20 strength, which seems like a pretty good start. And you made some buddies. We'll go for seeing red first. Actually, we'll go for battle trance first. There's my Heavy Blade, 114 damage, seems good. I can't War Cry because that's not gonna do anything for me. But we can Seeing Red to gain two. Then we can, let's say Sword Boomerang. Not the greatest division, but it'll work. 29 to that one kills that one. Heavy Blade would kill that one or this one. I can almost kill this Automaton in one go. But it might be better to just block twice. Yeah, I think I want the full 16 block. And then we can strike, strike the orb, or strike that orb and then strike this orb. Let's strike that orb and then beat that orb down. And then I don't take any damage. No war cries because I won't draw cards. Okay, so there's Inflame. Definitely a card I want. Shrug it off gets me the armor I need, which I don't really need it at all. Heavy Blade deals 129. That doesn't seem bad. We're gonna Seeing Red here, and I'm going to Heavy Blade and exhaust my strike. Yeah, we're gonna flawless this boss. Okay, a little bit of flexing. That's 149 damage, that feels like enough. <laughs> Perfect. Achievement unlocked. Disgusting. Um maybe. I don't know if that's better than what I currently got going on. Requires me to really, like, invest. Barricade is also a really good power. I'm not sure if demon form is worth it. Barricade seems not bad. Like, that one actually seems like something that I'd be happy to set up. I think I like Barricade here, but I don't like Demon Form. Did I not get a Relic? There it is, okay. On card reward screens, choose from four cards instead of three. We're probably not picking that many more cards. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand, draw one lens card each turn. Um, 
Hmm. No, that's bad. For every five cards in your deck, heal two HP whenever you are under a campfire. That could be fine. And this one's the only, like, utter positive, so we'll take that. And now we're in the beyond. We'll see how ridiculous the beyond gets. So I want to use card removal services when I can to get strikes out of my deck. We want to make our deck smaller here. Lifelink. If other enemies are alive, revives in two turns at 50% HP. Okay, I can work with that. So Apotheosis is definitely in our initial hand. So is Warcry. Flex is not terrible, but yeah, we'll probably go for Flex too. Do I feel good about Heavy Blade? Nah. Okay, so start with Apotheosis. Warcry. Don't need Seeing Red right now. Flex. And then we get to throw a boomerang. And I can knock one of these guys out. It'll revive in a couple of turns, but that's fine. That at least gets it out of my hair for a bit. And these guys get some armor and start looking at attacking me. Ugh. Alright, strike. Strike. I don't really want to use either of my seeing red, so I'll just, uh, true grit. Still haven't found my strength cards. My deck's too big at this point. Now we're gonna take some damage here. Ow. Okay, so... Shrug it off first, because I'm going to draw a card off that. Battle Trance. There's the Inflame I'm looking for. I can Barricade, and it only costs two now. That's pretty cool. But I think Limit Break, Limit Break makes the most sense here. And then we don't take any damage. Two of these guys are armor up. That's what we generally want them to do. Start with a war cry. Ditch a strike. Throw in a battle trance. There's a limit break. Heavy blade now kills this one. Or really anyone that I want. Can I just strike, strike, strike and kill them all? Yes. Okay. Enough strength. <laughs> Twin strikes not bad. Disarms not bad. I think I don't need any of these. We'll just... We're good with our current deck. Let's keep picking up question marks because those give us, give us opportunities to kill stuff in our deck. Okay. Barricade is a really interesting start, but I don't love it. I think I really want to have access to defend cards here. Let's keep at least one defend. We could go barricade, defend, defend, and that would give me... Hmm. Yeah, I should keep one defense card at least. So Warcry first. Eh, that's not what I wanted to see. Limit Break doubles my current strength, which is not that much. Seeing red increases the damage I can do, which is fine. Oh, honestly, I don't think I needed to seeing red. We'll see. So we take a hit there. Start with a war cry. 
True Grid is going to be useful here. Limit Break. Seeing Red. Bash. Sword Boomerang deals 11 damage. 16 damage three times. Cool. Good enough. Anger. Interesting card. Sever Soul, interesting card. Corruption, very bad card. Go for the questions. More fights. Fighty fights, fights. So I have one block card and then two heavy blades, which I don't really want to keep. Keep the block cards, but. Wait, 11 blocks should stop almost everything. Yeah, let's go with that. Double strength, double strength. Kill one of these guys. And my turn. Okay, I can... Man, Barricade just proved not to be all that good here. That's fair. So we'll flex here. Um, I can Barricade and Seeing Red and still play all of my cards, which is good. feel like applying Vulnerability to this one and then knocking it on the head seems like a pretty good plan. But we're going to take some damage this turn. Not what I want to do. <laughs> Okay, start with the free war cry. Follow up with the not free war cry. Follow it up with the battle trance. There's apotheosis. There's inflame. I don't think I can kill all of them, so let's just throw a sword boomerang, see where it goes. Not exactly on the perfect side. I could kill two Darklings and then kill the last one next turn. Or I could defend and not take quite as much damage. That seems fine. All right, Limit Break again gets me up to enough that Sword Boomerang should be good. There we go. Uh, all of this is not really worth it, so we'll skip that. Go to the Merchant. Hello! I would like to buy your card removal service. <laughs> okay, we've got... Burning Pact is not bad. It's actually really good. wonder if I could upgrade that card. You'll damage equal number of cards in your draw pile. That's cute. Panache. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal ten damage to all enemies. Uh, that's easy, but not that important. I wonder if strength applies to that. Okay, so card removal service. Let's get rid of a strike. Basic strikes should be out now. Regular enemy combats are no longer cut in question mark rooms. That seems like a really cool relic. But Burning Pact might actually be more important. <laughs> Matroska! That's a really cool card as well. So Juzu Bracelet means that I can't cut as many cards out of my deck. Let's look real quick and see if I encounter another merchant before the end. I encounter two more, so we can save some money for now. Although it would be nice to... Nah, let's go this way. Alright, purple fire spirits. 
What do I get to offer? Oh, okay. I get to offer one of my cards. I'm gonna offer my barricade because that's a pretty good card and I'm guessing they'll like it. My max HP increases by 10 and I'm healed to full HP. Awesome. That's perfect. That's really good for a boss fight too. Here we go. Okay, so Apotheosis is definitely in at the start. Zero cost Warcry should be in at the start. Everything else is pass. Okay. Warcry puts a strike on the top. Wait, what's the slow? For each card plays this turn, Giant Head takes 10% more damage from attacks. Okay. I'm into it. Zero cost Warcry. Put a strike. We're gonna shrug it off. Still didn't find quite enough, but we get to limit break and double our strength. And you're taking a lot of extra damage from attacks, which I'm already just going to hit you for a bunch. Alright, what's your negative effect? Uh, you're counting. Okay, I'm going to kill you. Let's go with... No, I can just bash limit break strike. I don't have to use either seeing red. Should have limit break first. That was dumb. And we'll leave our seeing reds because the extra power could be useful later. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to let you get to zero, I don't think. We'll see. So let's start with Battle Trance, because I don't have any other card draw. Yeah, I'll take an Inflame. Follow that up with a Flex. Then we'll do uh, Heavy Blade Sword Boomerang. Oh wait, you attack this turn. I could True Grit after a Heavy Blade, but I might exhaust like one of my defends or something. And I guess that's fine. I actually get to choose the card I exhaust, so it's fine to exhaust a defend here. Okay, so take four here, right? Now you're dealing 13. Should we start with a shrug it off? Limit break. Heavy blade. Okay. You're not gonna get to zero. I've, I'm at 42 here. I kind of want to see what happens when it gets us to zero, but limit break here, and the two seeing reds stack together again. What a bummer. All right. <laughs> uh, certainly nothing wrong with that. Pommel strikes kind of okay. It's better than some of these other cards. Clash. I don't think I need either of these. I kind of like Pommel Strike, but we're getting near the end. Question marks? Or do we go for relics? Let's go question marks. We know we can win fights. A gremlin is madly shuffling cards. Twelve cards, match them to keep them. Five tries, no do-overs. Okay. Okay. I think I'm good at these games. Let me see here. Flame barrier? Wait, if I match the cards, I keep them? I don't want to keep them. No! No, get it out of there! Can I leave? Oh, that one's not too bad. Twin Strike would have been okay, too. Alright. Uh, you gave me a card I didn't want. Alright, starting with an Apotheosis. I'm into that. Warcry we keep. Flame Barrier. Okay, Flame Barrier's not that terrible. It actually does have some strength bonuses. Bash I don't need. Shrug it off I don't need. We don't have an attack coming up, so... 
We get to go in flame first. Excellent. Oh, should have. No, Apotheosis would have upgraded it, and it already was upgraded. So, Warcry, discard True Grit, or discard. Ooh, interesting. I think I discard a Defend. I can also discard a Strike. Yeah, I'll discard the Defend. Strike, and then I'm going to True Grit and exhaust the other Strike. So, free Warcry, yeah. Discard that. Defend. Flex. Limit break. Limit break. 145, and my goodness, are you a big guy. Shouldn't have played the Seeing Red. Ah, I think I don't want the Seeing Reds anymore. Ow. That one really hurt. Okay, the Heavy Blades deal 130 damage apiece now. So let's just bop. <laughs> Another flex wouldn't be out of the question, and it's an upgraded one at that. I think I can live with that card. That works really well with my doubling effects. Gremlin Horn. Yes, definitely. Another big enemy. Our nemesis. We'll keep the battle trance. Especially since upgraded, it's probably disgusting. Costs zero now. I don't, did it cost zero before? Maybe it just didn't get upgraded at all. Okay, I can't draw cards anymore, so shrug it off only gives me defense. But flex plus limit break plus... Heavy Blade plus Heavy Blade. Do I want a True Grit a Shrug It Off? That feels not right. I think we just end turn. We're close enough. Intangible. All damage taken and HP loss is one for the next two turns. Okay. Well, that sucks. Seems like a good skill. Oh, what? You're mean. Okay, well, we've got Sword Boomerang, so I guess we just kill you now. Oh, no, you've still got a bunch of turns left. Okay. Oh, well, we'll Warcry here. Throw a strike, I guess. Flame Barrier seems very good. I'm gonna take a hit no matter what. In Flame, Seeing Red, Limit Break. I will kill you next turn, but that's a big hit there. Jerk butt. Flex first, War Cry. I mean, yeah, we're just gonna kill him. We'll flex again. Oi. Kunai. Every time you play three attacks in a turn, you gain one dexterity. That seems very good. <laughs> Dual wield X2. And metallicize, which is still a pretty good power. Okay, I think I want to see this merchant soon. So let's go down the question mark path. Oh, dang good. Okay, yeah. Get to just upgrade an attack. That makes Bash cheaper, I don't care about that. Heavy Blades, definitely. The bigger the Heavy Blade, the better they are. All right, cool. Hello! You are gonna take cards out of my deck, please. What else have we got? <laughs> That's pretty cute. Uh, Thinking ahead. That card's also very strong. Is that better than just removing a card from my deck? I have enough to do both, fortunately. 
Purity is also great. Wow. All right. I like both of these. Let's go with the card removal, though. We're going to ditch uh, another strike. And we're going to take Thinking Ahead and... Oh, I can't take Purity. Whoopsie daisies. That's okay. That's still good enough. Explosive. On death deals 8 damage to you, so I have to armor up for these guys. Interesting. So we keep the thinking ahead. The flex is probably worth keeping. Everything else, I think, ditches. Eh, mostly Garbo. Thinking ahead. Found the limit break, that's good. I kind of want to exhaust uh, the bash or the defend. Let's get rid of the bash. Flex here. Oh, it's not even a good flex. Limit barrier. Okay, heavy blade deals 54. Which I could defend against if I decided to true grit and then def No, that's not quite going to work. So you're going to attack me for 9, and if I use True Grit and Defend, then I should be fine. This unit deals 3 damage back when it... So if I go... You have a negative effect. You're going to buff. I think I like killing the negative effect or the buff. If we kill the negative effect and then defend True Grit... Oh, and I got a bash in response. Fair enough. Why did I get a bash? I don't actually remember why I drew a card. Oh, because an enemy died. Right. I get an extra power for that. Okay, so I can apply vulnerability, or I can just not apply vulnerability, and instead defend True Grit and get rid of this bash. Yeah, that seems good. I am down with that. Some thorns. A good block. Shrug it off, sword boomerang, seeing red. Start with shrug it off. Get a war cry out here. Man, I really want that apoth that like extra upgrade. We'll throw a defend under the bus. War cry here. The more armor I have, the happier I am, but I think let's defend under the bus again. Wait, could we actually get enough defense to care? Nope. Okay. So yeah, it's flex. Limit break. Seeing red. And then... If I... Okay, so three times... If I kill one of the smaller enemies, am I going to be better off? Not particularly. We're going to take some damage here. Okay, one dead enemy. Oh, right! We get that extra block that way. Fair enough. Heavy Blade kills that. I take some damage, but then I get Apotheosis. <laughs> A little bit late. So we're going to take nine here. Ow. You suck. There's Inflame at last. We're going to Battle Trance to find some defense, because I don't want to get blown up. Think ahead to find some more defense. Oh, I don't draw any more cards. Whoopsie daisies. Okay, so it's just basically gain block, heavy blade. Fine. Good. That was a little bit rough, but I think it worked. No more cards that we need. Mr. Merchant can't really upgrade us the way that we want him to. I think I'm going to go for the boss, because we're still pretty good against bosses. Okay. Okay. That's scary. We want to keep Limit Break? Yeah, I think so. True Grit can go.
Okay, so upgrade everything. Think ahead. Ditch a strike. Warcry. Ditch a strike. Warcry. Ditch a Seeing Red? Yeah, I've got enough to play all the cards in my hand. Limit Break. Flame Barrier to get the block that I need. And then Sword Boomerangs and Strikes are fun. Not going to be good enough, but that's okay. We take some damage here. Ow. Very much ow. Okay. Yeah, like 30 damage early seems like a big deal. Okay, so I can flex. Then I can limit break. Oh wait, flex again. Then I can limit break. Which I think should make that heavy blade just kill something. Which gives me a defend. No seeing red. <laughs> the seeing reds are actually bad here. Who'd have thunk it? Alright, five there and some burns. Yuck, yuck, yuck. But at this point, we just got heavy blades, so we can pick it up pretty easy. Oh, and we healed 12 because of that half damage thing, so. Uh, War Paint seems like the best one by a very large. Oh, yeah, that's great, sure. Okay, got a good Battle Trance and a better War Cry. And I can add a card if I want to, but we're pretty well done. Campfire! Alright. I think the last thing we want to do before the fight is lift, because we've already got everything else that we need, right? Yeah, let's just beef up. We're up to plus three. Alright, this is, I think, the last boss. Let's go. Uh, wait, this is a boss? Oh, the Awakened One. He's unawakened. So Limit Break is important, as is Flex. I don't think seeing red is important at all, because we just have a lot of early gas. Okay. So start with thinking ahead. Discard defend? Yeah, I'm going to get 11 block out of shrug it off. Apotheosis upgrades. Shrug it off. Found another defend. Cool. Flex. Limit break. Strike hits this guy. Defend. So what happens when you wake up? You heal 10 HP at the end of your turn, so killing your ritual seems like the correct choice, but I'm a little worried. Okay, heavy blades are excellent here, good to know. Start with a war cry. Ditch the strike. In flame. We're gonna flex too. I'm gonna throw a sword boomerang, see what happens. Okay, we killed one. And then heavy blade and strike both do very similar things. I think I'm gonna go with. Let's just hit this guy. Oh, right, we get extra power for that. Battle trance! Okay, can I just make this completely work now? Warcry? Oh, I can't Warcry. Fair enough. I'm going to True Grit and Exhaust the Strike. Oh, actually, shoot. I guess I exhaust a Heavy Blade. Whoopsies. I don't know if I like exhausting Heavy Blades, but I feel like less attacks is probably going to help me have defense against this guy. Okay, so you're not awake yet. That's good, because we're going to keep Limit Breaking. Flame Barrier, Seeing Red, Defend, and Strike. Don't wake up. Soul Strike. Well, that hurt you. You're still not awake, that's good. I see no reason not to flex twice here. 184 and 43? Are you going to wake up? You're going to wake up. Okay. Let's see what the Awakened One's going to do when it wakes up. Uh, did it grow spikes? I'm not totally clear. Limit Break. Battle Trance. 
I just got an achievement called Jaxed, and I don't know what that does. Okay. That seems good. Let's go with that. <laughs> All right. Oh, is this the heart of the spire? The source of this evil? Am I attacking? Is that what? Oh, okay. Yep. I dealt 726 damage. Uh, are my mightiest attacks not enough? I feel like it's uh, quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. Achievement unlocked Ruby. And we definitely got an unlock there. Okay, so new relics. Negates the next two curses. That's excellent. Non-boss chests now also contain cards. Don't... Wait. What? Non-boss chests already contain cards. Oh, I guess it's like relic chests. Okay, shovel. You can now dig for loot at campfires. That's silly, but okay, sure. I'm into it. <laughs> Yeah, that was very good. All right. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and call it, and we'll go back to some eternal. <laughs>